hello guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a first impressions review of some natural hair products that i've been trying since i started wearing my curly hair and i'm just going to be talking about um first of all like overall just in general did i like it when i first tried it like how it reacted with my hair how it reacted with other products etc etc i'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible because my phone is about to die but yeah so to start the video i have type 4 hair low porosity and right now so today is october 1st which means it's the first official month of my hair or me wearing my curly hair and this is what it looks like right now i have it up in a bun i did bantu knots like a week ago and i've been sleeping in that bun since I took them out, so probably like three days now. So it looks a mess, like truly a mess. But you can still see some of the curls, like, no, not that one. Some of them are still intact, but not really. But yeah, this is what my hair looks like. I had to skip my last wash day of the month because um, my foot is still recovering from my injury. If you watched my behind the scenes photo shoot my last one you saw that i got injured on my foot so <laughs> no, I, I wasn't able to stand up for that long to like wash my hair so i had to skip it but it doesn't feel bad it, it's not like terribly dry or anything it feels pretty good much better than normal and because my hair's been holding a lot more moisture than usual well it's a good thing because mainly because of the products i've been using but Anyway, anyway, I'm gonna get into the products and tell you how I feel about them. So the first product is gonna be the African Pride Olive Miracle Anti-Breakage Formula Leave-In Conditioner. And it says it's a daily treatment and a hair strengthener. It has no sulfates, no mineral oils, no parabens, no gluten. And I, you get 15 fluid ounces. And I got this at Walmart. And let me just say, Look how much I have left. I only have a little bit left. I've used basically this entire thing. It would be empty if I had washed my hair again and did another style because I would use the rest of this. But I really, really, really like this. I love the way it smells and it makes my hair so soft and it really helps my hair retain the moisture that it needs. Um, especially since I'm low porosity, it's really important that my hair is moisturized because sometimes product and like water in general just like doesn't want to absorb in my hair. But once I work this into my hair, it works really good and it smells really good too, which I love. So yes, I am definitely going to be repurchasing this because it's just a really good, really good option. And I, like I said, I got it at Walmart, so it wasn't it was probably like ten dollars something like that so yes i definitely recommend this and i've only been using it for a month and i already like it so this is definitely staying in my natural hair routine next is the ogx coconut curls air drying cream and it says with coconut oil and shea butter this creamy blend helps curls bounce without crunch and you get six fluid ounces and i got this at ulta for like eight dollars or something and i also really like this i'm pretty sure i finished it yeah it's completely empty i well not completely there's still there's still like a tiny bit but it's not able to be pumped so i'm gonna have to get that there's like a little little bit but i've used this entire thing excuse me i've used two curl creams now and i use all of this one and i'm definitely going to be repurchasing this works really well with all my other products um the other curl cream that i tried it like reacted weird with my leave-in and so i don't really like using it i'm gonna finish it because i bought it i'm not gonna waste it but like it's not the best thing i ever tried but this curl cream is really good and it smells really good and it's like lightweight but it also does what it needs to do i just dropped it and it does what it needs to do and i just feel like it really absorbs well into my hair because you know low porosity just don't be trying to hold moisture and i feel like this paired with my leave-in is really good so like i said i'm going to be repurchasing this and i got it from ulta so yep 
Next is this, um, it's like almost, like this whole thing is almost completely ruined, but this is the Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla um, Hydrating Leave-In Spray. And I love this so much. It, so I'm about here and I've been using it for about a month and I'm only like halfway through, like a little bit less than half. And let me spray my hair right now. Like this stuff is so good for like my hair loves this stuff. You can, I use it basically, my hair loves this stuff. I use it almost every day, except the only reason I haven't been using any of my hair products these last few days is because I haven't felt like doing my hair. So, but other than like this past few days, I pretty much use this every day, like multiple times a day. It really, really refreshes my hair without like feeling like there's too much product buildup or that it's like greasy or like crunchy. It's really good. It smells so good. And I also got this at Walmart and I definitely will keep using this. I'm like obviously gonna try other products, but as far as I know, this is gonna stay in my like baseline like hair care routine because I don't really have like an official official hair care routine. So this is just all the stuff that I've like tried for my hair in the like like specifically for my natural hair and I'm definitely gonna be reusing this. So it hasn't given me any reason to not like it. It's been a month, so I'm definitely keeping this in my routine and it wasn't that expensive. Got it at Walmart, like I said. So yeah, shout out to Carol's daughter. This stuff slaps. <laughs> Next, I wanted to do a tool instead of like a product. And this is the Pattern Beauty sh like detangling like shower brush. It's like a Denman brush, but like real fancy. And let me say, it is really heavy duty. I love it. I've been using this since my, I've been natural, so a month. And I really like it. It detangles really well. And it just like does everything I need it to do. Like I use it in the shower mainly. Like I know some people use it like outside the shower, but I use this only in the shower for when my hair's like soaking, soaking wet. But yes, I really like this. I use this in my wide tooth comb to detangle and it's really good and I've definitely I don't think I'll have to repurchase this I'm pretty sure this is gonna last a long time and I just like how like sleek it is like it's all black it's like satin it's really nice so definitely like this so yes ma'am Miss Tracy okay next from Pattern Beauty I have her hydrating mist um revive and replenish spray and it's basically just like it's kind of like how like when you do like the leave-in you just kind of like spray it on the go it's kind of like this um and it says it's paraben free color safe silicone free all that good stuff um i really like this too except my only complaint with this is the sprayer is a little bit defective so like when you push it down to spray it stays down which means you have to wait for it to come like that. You have to wait for it to come back up. So you can't just like spray, 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 spray. You have to wait for the sprayer to come back up. And it like, yeah, it's kind of like inconsistent. And like, that's kind of annoying to be honest. Like I put it in an extra spray bottle though. So like, it's fine, but like, girl. But you do get a lot. This is 12 fluid ounces. I can't really tell how much I've used, but it's still pretty full. Like I haven't really, I mean, I don't use it that often mainly because of the sprayer, but like when I put it in the other spray bottle, I use it. So um, yeah, but I don't use it that often. I want to though. I want to finish it because I like it. It's just the sprayer is annoying, but it's fine. I can work around it, but yes, I like this. When it runs out, I might try to find something else, but We'll see, we'll see. Next is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Defining Cream. And this was the other cream I was just talking about. And it says, lock in moisture, defrizz, and add shine to define your true curls with rice curl complex for all curl types. I also got this at Ulta. And let me say, smells great, love that. However, this does not mix well with my African Pride leave-in. It creates these little balls, these little white balls. And 
I don't really like that. Um, I only have a little bit left because I did use a lot of it, but um, I will not be repurchasing this, but I think it's a good product. It just doesn't react well with one of my other products. And like, I don't really want just white stuff in my hair. So I won't be repurchasing, but I did like it. So, you know, it wasn't bad. It was just this one specific thing for me, but I'm gonna finish this, it's almost empty, and then I'll probably repurchase my other curl cream and like get a new one to try. So yeah, this is, this is this. Got it at Ulta, probably won't repurchase. Next is something, I've actually had this for a while now, but I never actually got to use it. Um, this is the Cantu Coconut Oil Shine and Hold Mist. So it's basically like hairspray except for natural hair. And I've had this for a while. I really like, yeah, I really like how it smells um, and it really works. It does have like a white, it, it looks white when you first put it on, but you just kind of have to like blend it in and then it looks fine. But I really like this, it does its job. It doesn't make your hair like crunchy, but it does hold it in place, which I like. So I think this is really good. I haven't used that much. I want to use this more and just like play around with it, see how much hold I can get out of it. But I don't remember where I got this, but Cantu is basically sold everywhere. But I don't like to buy that many Cantu products because, you know, owned by a white man, I'm pretty sure. And a lot of their products are not good for our hair. So can't be having that. But I might repurchase this or I might find something else. We'll see. Next is the Aunt Jackie's um, Flaxseed Elongating Curl Gel. And I love this so much. I haven't, first of all, a little bit goes a long way. I'm about halfway, you can't really tell. Well, kind of, I'm like about halfway. And I was using this, I bought this like a few days after I went like after I washed my hair initially. So I didn't use this for like my first few like braid outs and twists and whatever. But when I did start using it, I could definitely tell a difference in my hair when I would do like braid outs and bantu knots and twist outs. Like this stuff is amazing. It smells so good and it's not like too heavy and it doesn't make your hair crunchy. It doesn't leave any white cast like and it reacts really well with all my other products. It just blends in and it's just, honestly, I love this. I got this at Ralph's, which is also Kroger. So like I literally got this at the grocery store and it's so good. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna be rebuying this. I know that for a fact I'm gonna be rebuying this because it's really good. Um, I know a lot of gels aren't really, like a lot of people are very wary about gels, but I like this one. I definitely recommend it and I will definitely be repurchasing it. Next is another Not Your Mother's Curl Talk product. And this is the Curl Activating Mousse. And it says lasting shine and definition, humidity protection for frizz free curls, soft touch will hold. So it's out of like, out of five, it's a two. So light hold and I used this a few times. I don't think mousse is my thing personally. I don't think this was bad. It was a little sticky, but like mousse is kind of like just like that. But I don't know if this was like if mousse is just my thing. Like, I don't know about if I really reach for it that much. Um, I'm going to like plan on finishing it, but you know, it was just kind of, you know, it's just there for when I need it. You know, I, it's not a bad product. It's just like, I don't personally use it that much. So I might just like force myself to use it so that I don't waste it. Cause I'm not trying to waste hair products around here. So yeah, I don't know if I'll rebuy this if I run out, but I feel like also it might just be nice to have a mousse. Just... Ow. <laughs> I think it might be nice to just have a mousse just in case so like might keep it I don't know but yeah this is okay I just don't use mousse that much next Miss Jessie's super sweet back treatment now let me tell you something about this this was given to me and at first I was like you know 
what what's this about you know what what is this about now this has a lot of claims on this for what it does and it says well it says it's a it, it's like a hair growth treatment but it also is for moisture retention stronger strands helps detangling it's like a deep deep conditioner helps transitioning curls and chemically treated textures and it also says um essential treatment for moisturizing strengthening and growing out natural hair blah 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 it says this rich treatment is full of shea butter avocado and cantella centella i don't know so yeah it says it does a lot of stuff but to be honest like okay i pretty much use this entire bottle i probably have like one more time to like do a treatment and i'll probably be out but honestly and it smells like bubble gum by the way which i really like because i like stuff that smells sweet but this stuff i'm pretty sure this works really well um like as soon as you put it in your hair like your true curls come out like it's crazy it adds so much moisture to my hair and that's honestly what my hair needs like moisture and that's why i get all these hydrating products and moisturizing products but yeah i'm pretty sure this like really works maybe just for my hair it like really really worked or i think my hair just was because i hadn't washed it in like three or four months before september so like i think my hair really just needed some moisture and some hydration and this definitely definitely gave my hair that so i think you should try this if you have dry hair like if you suffer from dry hair then I think you should try this. If not, then maybe don't try this because that might be too much moisture for you. But for me, because my hair is really dry and it's low porosity, I basically have to like force moisture in there. This really worked and it smells really good. Um, so I might buy this again or I might buy something like this, but this was really good and I'm almost out of it. I'm gonna finish it. So yeah, and I only use this like two or three times i know three times so if you have a lot of hair like me you probably can get four to five uses out of this but if you have less then this will probably last you much longer but yes i definitely like this product okay almost done y'all so next is the shea moisture coconut and hibiscus curl and shine shampoo i only use this once so i can't really say how i feel about it but i mean i think it did what it needed to do um it got my hair clean my scalp was very clean i used this and another shampoo together to like really clean off my scalp um i only shampoo my hair like when i was wearing my hair straight i only shampooed my hair like every two months and since it's only been a month i don't really know how long i want to shampoo my hair now that it's just like like this um i was gonna do a month but like ooh, i already missed that mark <laughs> so i might wait two months i don't know but i mean i think this was fine it smells good it lathers pretty good so i'm gonna have to use this a few more times before i can really say but i think it's i think it's good so yeah okay next another shea moisture product this is the raw shea butter deep treatment mask and it says with sea kelp and argan oil for dry damaged hair and oh, yeah it this is pretty good i use it every time i <clears throat> smells interesting but i use it every time or the, like the last three times i think i've washed my hair no yeah the first three yeah okay so i've only actually done my hair 30 times like by getting it wet in the shower um so i've used this three times and i think it's i think it's good i think it helps my hair i can't really tell like that much of a difference just because i'm using so many other products because i'm trying to get my curly hair routine together um i know that's going to take time so but i can't really tell if this works yeah I, I just can't really tell if this works i think i need to give it a little bit more time with like probably whenever there's less stuff in my routine then i will be able to see if this really works but i think it works and it smells interesting i mainly put it on my ends and like my edges and stuff 
so yeah this is i i don't i don't know if i'm gonna rebuy this but we'll see and last but not least we have another aunt jackie's product and this is the anti-poof moisturizing and soft moisturizing and softening conditioner and i also love this well i like the way it smells a lot it smells so so good oh my gosh it smells like candy and i really like this because well i also got it i got this the same day that i got the other the aunt jackie's this yeah same day i got the gel i got this and it smells really good it yes when i use it i put it um it said the instructions say to leave it cover your hair with a plastic cap and leave it for 10 minutes while you're in the shower but i don't have any plastic caps so i had to use a plastic bag and i did that for 10 minutes and when i take the plastic bag off my hair looks so good like my curls have shrunk up it just is yes yes it's so good i definitely will repurchase this like these two love these on jackie's i hope it's actually ran by like a black woman because if not i will get really sad because these are really good and like i really hope i'm giving props to like someone black because if a white man is behind this aunt jackie's i'm gonna be upset but yes i really like this i'm definitely repurchasing this it's so good for my hair it hydrates so well like i'm telling y'all my hair needs moisture that's why all my pretty much all my products are like hydrating but yes yes this is really good i definitely recommend this if you have dry hair dry or damaged so yeah that is my last product and that's all i have for you guys today if there's any products that you recommend me trying or you would like to see me review please let me know i hope you enjoyed this first impressions review and this is what my hair looks like. It's going well. But anywho, uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.